So what I have in here are some accessories and things. Oh, I can never undo that nicely. Oh, hang on, maybe I have. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna pull this through. So I can save the stickers. You know what, I have my Hobonichi cousin here. I'm just gonna pop them straight in. I'm behind in my memory and keeping, as you can see. Um, but also, it's okay. I don't mind so much. Um, I quite like the catch-up days. Um, except, of course, when they become months and months to do. But I don't have quite that many, thank, thank goodness. there now this is a package to accompany my Tokyo edition travelers notebook so I'll just pop that there to the side and let's open this up we have oh my goodness <laughs> oh that's charm I love it it's gorgeous this is what I wanted so in the previous order which I got from another shop I got the travelers at travelers notebook Tokyo edition and the pen that com pencil that comes with it, I've swapped out the eraser from the orange to the pink because I think pink and red suits me much better. Um, but I was unable to get the charm from the same shop, so that's why I went shopping at Baumkuchen. So it's two charms, one that can go here on the elastic band and then the Sakura flower. So this is Taiyaki and this um, Sakura charm is meant to go on a little bookmark here on the bottom so excited to have it yay and then from i'll also just do the tokyo edition stuff at the same time oh my goodness i'm so excited um was the a second one of these notebooks um i just decided i wanted to get one uh it did come with one of course as well um inside of the traveler's notebook itself so uh it just has um, your favorite places to visit in tokyo and then the cre the uh, white paper and at the back there are these kind of speech bubbles encouraging you to write get people who you meet to write down messages or use some stamps or things to collect your own memories of a trip to tokyo so that's that that's the booklet and then i also grabbed the stickers as well so i've never really been a fan I guess of the Travelers Company stickers they're kind of a bit big for me I guess um, but there's some in here that I just couldn't resist so we have um, a lantern we have the swan boats and now these are all um, they also have a nice trip on them in some way or another we've got some sushi uh, the teyaki, which was one of the one of the main reasons I got it, and the sakura as well. I really like this one with all of the icons. We've got the cream soda, and the the cat, of course, is one of my favourites. We've got some ramen, and we've got the sumo as well. So you know they're super cute, and I think I'll definitely use this one and the cat. And the swans and the sakura and the, yeah i'm sure i'll use most of them so that's that so that's what i got from the um tokyo edition i didn't get uh the, there's a postcard notebook that i didn't get um, i didn't really think i needed that one but what i did pick up extra from bam kuhan first of all is this trust the process um bookmark i'll just grab it out now i have the trust the process it's got the little paper plane as the as the kind of motif for that um phrase and i've got that already and i love it i might just cut it you know i'm 
very particular about keeping some of these things. So it's a bookmark. I can go inside your TN. So we have the uh, paper plane on this one, this end, and then the other end has uh, the Baumkuchen logo. Super, super sweet. And so that's just designed to go inside your book. And then it just hangs outside of your TN. You can shorten it, of course, if you want to. It's just knotted on the end to hold those charms on. My friend Zainab got this for her passport size. And uh, when I went to get it, it was sold out. So I missed it. But finally, it's back in stock. Yay. And then lastly, I got the Fragile um, Patch. So there's a sticker. The Fragile sticker comes on the packaging, which I've just... Um, it's too far for me to reach now, but it does come, um, this does come in patch format as well. And it's got an adhesive on the back. And my plan for this is one of my BK Truly Yours ones. My plan for this was to pop it on here somewhere. Um, so this is one of the 1.61 soft goods these are so nice like this is so soft and supple i've got a brown one as well inside of my wallet tin um so uh let me just show you the brown one the brown one i had stamped by balm uh, they said they hadn't done it before so i was their little test and it's come out beautifully and i think i've got um this one on the back as well. Uh, I really like how they've turned out. And there's that trust the process again in here as well on the inside of these pockets. Okay, so my fragile sticker, shall I add it now while we're, while we're on camera? Should I put it there or should I put it inside? I feel like it's gotta go on the front and also part of me thinks I might cover this with other patches in the future as well. So it doesn't need to be centered or anything is what I mean by that. So apparently I'm adding it. This, I think I've said this before, but this is the thing I love about videos, about filming, is that I'm kind of forced to do things more quickly than I would. And I would spend hours agonizing over where to put it. But on camera, I've got like a second to decide. So, um, a corner seems like a good idea, but also maybe like centered on on the outside. Yep, I think I'm just gonna pop it here. No dramas. And like I said, look at me. Look at me just being completely uh, courageous. So, oh, I love it. Look at it. It's so cute. It looks really nice. Um, and this, I can't stop touching these. So I kind of wanted to make this a red notebook. Um, my red stuff was in this one and it still could be, but I kind of really like the idea. Let's take, I just popped these in here to save them. I thought I might decorate the cover of um, what the book I end up putting in here. Um, yes, yeah, so my plan was kind of to pop this in here to have that pop of red with this book. I know the iridescence is blue, but I just love the look of the red with it. So I'm just deciding whether it would go in here or it would go back in this one. And I have uses for both of these, so I have plans for both. So I guess um, uh, the other one, whichever one doesn't get the red folder, will get this... Um, no, not this one, not the trifold. Where is it? This one. The pocket, zip pocket wallet instead. So one of these will go in one of these eventually. That's the plan. I think I'm still deciding about what I want to do. So I'm probably going to leave it there. But what I will do is pop these charms on. 
Oh, they're so pretty. They just look so nice. Okay, let's open them up. Does anyone use this band for anything? It's um, cord, like it's not stretchy or anything. Do you keep it and use it for anything? I'm curious because I've kept it all from many, many, many things, but I don't really have a use for them. Okay, let's attach. Okay, so what I am loving about this charm is that it has this bar at the back to feed the elastic through. So it sits flat and flush on your traveler's notebook as opposed to these ones that have the ring so they can kind of flip over and you know they stick out I know that's not much but um, I, I like the idea of them being able to just lie flat I think that's cool I think a lot of people like that as well I'm just gonna trim this off so it's not so fluffy Okay, I have to resort to the tweezers. I'm struggling too much right now. Um, they can just help me push this through next to the other elastic. Look how quickly it's gotten all frazzled as well. I mean, in theory. Okay, I'll just tie this off and try to remember about how far down it was um, knotted previously. I'm not going to pull it too tight just yet. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And uh, let's see if I've got this the right way around. Yeah. Look how cute this little guy is. <laughs> I love it, adorable. Um, okay, so it is a little tight to get around the edges here. So I'm just gonna release a bit of that tension and move the knot, knot along a little bit. Because once I add more things inside there as well, it will get a little bit thicker. So I will do that. see now much better oh it's so cute I don't know if I want it in the middle or to the side I don't I guess it doesn't really matter <laughs> but he's very cute isn't he all right so then the sakura flower I've never been particularly good at um, securing these to the bookmarks but like I said I'll give it a go um, I'm actually thinking I don't need to unknot this because the knot is quite skinny and this ring is quite large. Yeah, okay, cool. And so then it kind of, because the knot is still there, it gives me an end point for this second knot. Okay, let's pop this in here. And there we have our little Sakura charm. I'm not thrilled with the way I've tied it on, so maybe I will undo that knot or cut it off even. And I do have more of the string as well, so um, I could always replace it if I had to. It's just a bit tricky to get it in here. Um, cute as though, let's see. Well, let's pop this in too, just for fun. I would need to, um, I would need to cut the 
for these though. I think that's far too long, but um, but it is pretty cute, yeah. Okay, so that's the Tokyo Edition Traveler's Notebook with all the charms and things added. Um, I'll pop the book in there as well so we can sort of get an idea of how thick that might turn out. Actually, let's, let's put the folder in too. Let's see if I can just slip it under this book. folder just sitting around that is quite nice. I'll pop this in the back just to give the illusion of a two book system, two book plus folder. So there we go. It's pretty good with two books. It doesn't overhang, just a plastic there, but that won't be on it in real life. And then the charm and these long charms as well. I suspect these are going to live in a different notebook. Potentially my camel. I think the colours kind of match my camel very nicely. So it might end up on there instead. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, there we are. There's my collection of beautiful things from Baumkuchen. Uh, the... Traveler's Notebook, um, I didn't get from there or the pencil, but they do have them as well. But I did get this folder from them a while ago, and I've just added this fragile patch that I got from them today. And my beautiful charms here on the TN itself, love, and then all of these beautiful stickers as well. Super, super cute. Thanks so much, Baumkuchen, especially for your excellent customer service when I wasn't sure which one of these patches I'd purchased. Thank you for confirming that it was the right one. Um, let me know what you think, everyone. I'm so excited. We're nearly there now. I'm going to be setting this up shortly to be my personal reference notebook. Yeah, that's most likely going to be my personal reference, and then this one will be my general reference. So, you know, house, car life etc and then this one will be more things that could change uh, routines habits goals as well as um, like beauty products that I'm using that I so I can remember what they are um, all those sorts of things you know uh, more to come uh, if you're interested to in seeing how I'm going to set that up most likely I'll put three books in here and then split each book in half for the topics that they cover and yeah there'll be uh Obviously not daily things, things don't, well, hopefully things aren't changing daily. That would be diabolical, but things that I will just add to as I need, but also have it there as a reference to go to when I need to find out, to figure something out. So yeah, it's something I've wanted to put in place for a long time and I've been doing it in bound books kind of here and there, but haven't loved it. So I feel like having it in my TN makes a lot more sense. So I can just move things around as I need to. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and yeah, please do come back if you want to see me setting these two up. Um, I've already set these guys up on the channel. This is my wallet. Oh my goodness, I just love it so much. And this one is my work companion and it's been really cool for me. I've been tracking actions in here, things that I need to get done and then achievements which i find hard i find very hard to sort of say what i've done well it's a really difficult thing for me and then reviews i'm about to do my may review in there so i mean i'm going to start it because i feel like doing halfway through the month is good as well i kind of think weekly is far too often but to start writing things down in the middle of the month is a good idea otherwise you'll forget certain things i think Anyway, that's it for me. Like I said, I'll stop talking and uh, thank you. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.